Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming. I bring you all a new Valence trap. If you don't know, Valence is that new pendulum marker type that came out last year. It's actually got some meta tops. So, we just got a new trap card revealed for Duelist Nexus. And uh, let's just go over it. So, it's a continuous trap card. And it says, once per turn, is this card in the main monster zone? Oh, wait, wait, my apologies. Let me reread that. Once per turn, if a card in the main monster zone moves to another main monster zone, you can activate one of these effects. So it basically says, hey, if one of your valences move from one zone to the other, trigger an effect, which makes sense because all the valences, their whole gimmick is that they move like a board game, and you want to move them across the board, which is pretty, pretty solid. So its first effect is all level five or higher valence monsters you currently control gain 1200 targets at the end of the turn. Okay. I mean, it's the second effect is you can send this face-up card from the spell trap zone to graveyard, Target one effect monster in your opponent controls in their main monster zone. Place that monster in a face up continuous spell and trap zone in the same column. If this zone is occupied, destroy the applying card and you'll use each effect once. Oh, this is not once per turn, huh? Uh, no, oh, it is once per turn. Okay. So, how do I feel about this card? This card is very interesting. So, basically, it's a trap version of what Valence is already doing with the field spells. If you don't know, the whole point of the Valence field spells is that you give them both to your opponent and yourself. I mean, you move your monsters into, when you move them, you move their opponent's monsters into the spell and trap zone, which is a really, really interesting and weird mechanic. And this track card is saying, hey, you can just do that now, even though you're already able to do that. So I don't know how good this card actually is besides that 1200 boost. But are you playing a continuous trap and pendulum that is not removable? Oh, it's technically removable because it's like the field spells where it puts the monster in the spell and trap zone. But you can already do that. And it, I guess it's a trap star, so you can do it during your opponent's turn. But I always assume that Valens can already do that during their opponent's turn. So I'm not exactly sure if this card's like insane. Like maybe it's like, oh, we couldn't do it during our opponent's turn, but now we can. So they're trying to make a push on us. So we can just go move, push it into the spell and trap zone, and you just lose their monster. That'd be cool. That'd be kind of interesting. But I'm pretty sure if I not, I could be mistaken because I don't play Valence as much as I love this archetype, as much as I already own it. The deck's a little too complicated for me. It's it's a pendulum archetype, and it has to do with moving columns. It's a little too complicated. I haven't really learned it yet. But uh, basically, the whole gimmick of moving the columns is pretty interesting. Now, I don't know if it's good enough because there's already an FTK version of the deck. So, why wouldn't you just play the FTK version? I don't know. But who knows? It seems like an interesting card. It has potential. You all can tell me in the comments below if you would like playing this card. I think it's a gimmick you uh, one of. It's searchable, I believe. But again, I don't know why you wouldn't want to search your other Valence spells. Maybe it'll give us a monster that can search Valence traps. And they're like, okay, it's a searchable one of. We just play it because the other one's a good extender. Maybe that one will do. But until then, I think this card's either seen at 1 or 0. And uh, that's really about it. I hope you all enjoy. See you all in the next one. Take care and don't do anything stupid. Bye-bye. <laughs>